Welcome to Tomb CU online service. I'm Belinda Iwaya. Before I start, shall we pray? Our dear and ever living Father, thank you because of this day. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for everything, Abba Father. Even during this perilous time, oh God, we are praying that Lord Jesus, you shall dwell till the end, Abba Father, that the Holy Spirit shall be with us till the end. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray and believe. Amen. Welcome once again. Our today's topic is unchanging God in changing times. And I will give a brief description of this topic. Change is a pervasive reality with no end in sight. And the synonyms of change are transitions, advancement, development, like uh, having difference from what you had maybe in the beginning and today and uh, and changing God it simply means a God who is constant a God who does not change a God who's who's immutable who has an immutable attribute in terms of his character his will and his promises God who, who never who never looks at what to do or say or Yes, and another thing, and changing times, it means like undefined term, times, uncertain times. We, like we don't know what will happen in the future, what will happen in the next hour, what will happen in the next minute, undefined time. And our key verse of today will be from the book of Malachi chapter 3 verse 6, which says, I the Lord do not change. So you all descendants of Jacob do, are not destroyed. That is from that is NIV. The Lord does not change. So you descendant of Jacob, you will not be destroyed. You are the descendant of Jacob. So if you if our God is unchangeable, so you will not be destroyed, despite the circumstances, despite all things that you are going through. God, Lord, will not change. The first objective is God's unchanging nature and glory during this period, during this time. We're living in times like we don't know what will happen the next minute, what will happen the next hour. But I'm telling you this morning that God's nature is unchanging and it will remain the same. That is, His unchanging nature affects other attributes of God. That is God our Lord being merciful been slow to anger, abounding in love, forgiving God. He never changed. He remains to be the same. In 1 Samuel chapter 5, verse 29, it says, And also the glory of Israel will not lie or have regret, for he is not a man that he should regret. The glory of God will not lie. Okay. Dr. Miles Mulro, in his book, The Purpose and Power of God's Glory, says that God's glory is one of the buried treasure of lost humanity, an imprisoned splendor, that, the, that, the only, that God's glory is introduced to the power, that one is introduced to the power of God's glory by particularly demonstrating it. So, it means that God will always deal with us in a constant way. No matter the situation, no matter the circumstances, our good Lord will deal us in the same way. If he, if he was meant to bless you, actually God will bless you. If God meant to heal you, God will heal you. Despite the situation, despite the hard time, despite the perilous time, God our Lord will heal you, will actually restore your health, will restore your joy. He will give you what was taken away. Remember Job, he gave Job what was taken away, even in a double way than it was initially. So God, good Lord, will remain the same no matter the situation. Whatever circumstances you are in, God our Lord will deal you in a greater way, in a merciful way. Yes. I have an, an, an unshakable hope having an, an unshakable hope. First thing for you to have an, 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 an unshakable hope is that you evaluate your day-to-day -day life. 
What do you do? What do you say? What people do you associate with? Yes? Like, how, who are you to the community? Are you benefiting the community or you are just uh, in another way? Are you a vessel of God? Are you a vessel of honor? Are you an asset or a liability? Who are you in Christ? Who are you in this kingdom? Yeah, in John in chapter 10, verse 10, it says that the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But God came so that you may have life and have this life in, a, in, a, in abundance. The thief purpose, or rather the certain purpose, is to destroy you, is to make you down. And he will rob you everything, everything that you have. Satan will make sure that he has robbed you. So for you to have this an unshakable hope, evaluate your life, day-to-day -day life, what to do, what to say, how you spend your time. Avoid this that Satan. For his purpose is to kill, steal, and to destroy. Avoid this Satan completely. And actually, you'll find that you, you are just open for God, not other thing. Another thing for you to have an, unsh an unshakable hope is to rejoice in our suffering despite all things. In Romans 5 verse 3, it says that not only so, but we rejoice in our suffering because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance character and character hope and hope does not disappoint. Rejoice in our suffering despite all things. Just give glory to God. Say thank you God. I know that through this I will maneuver through till the end. In Job chapter 1 verse 20 somewhere there we can see that Job despite all that had happened Job knelt down and, give, and he gave praises to God. Another thing for you to have this an unshakable hope. Dwell in the secret place. Uh, many times you can see Jesus uh, from the story of Jesus. Many times he withdrew from the crowd and he went in a secluded pl place to pray. First, the Solonians chapter 5 verse 17, it says, pray continually. We are asked to pray. Prayer is like talking to God. When you pray to God, you will feel like you will be renewed each and every day. You may, know, you may not know how, but God is renewing you. Like you are having a conversation to God each and every day. Ask yourself, how many hours do you pray in a day? How many hours do you have a communication between you and God in a day? Is it only 30 minutes or even a day can end without you talking to God? So purpose to talk to God. Purpose to dwell in the secret place. Yeah, in First Peter chapter five verse eight, it says, "Be sober, be, be, be vigilant, for the for the enemy, the devil, is roaring around, looking for whom to devour. If you are not sober or be vigilant, the devil will actually." Another thing, word of God by reading the word of God in Psalms 119 verse 9 it says how can a young man keep his way pure is by reading the word of God in our theme verse Colossians 3 verse 6 it says let the word of Christ dwell richly in you reading the word of God the word of Christ dwelling richly in you the another thing for you to have an, an unshakable hope is Trusting in God. Proverbs chapter 3, 5, it says that trust in the Lord your God and relay and not rely on your own understanding. In Psalms 20 verse 7, it says that some trust in chariots, some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord. The last, the last objective that I will tackle is good promises and faithfulness. God promised Abraham a son at his old age and actually he gave him a son. God promised the Israelites that they will reach, that he will give them a land. And it took 40 years for them to, to get the promised land, to get to the promised land. A, a, a land, maybe you can say it's a short distance, not that long distance, but it took them 40 years. That means God will actually fulfill his promise. He will fulfill what he wanted to do in your life. He will fulfill your purpose. 
it's your it's your role to run a good race god does not uh, is not here to harm you or to make you feel down but god is here so that you may he may fulfill your purpose he may fulfill your promises he may fulfill your covenant come your covenant with him you can see abraham abraham was very old but god promised him a son and he actually gave him a son in conclusion let's serve this unchanging god during this changing time you will actually fight for us till the end shall we pray our good lord thank you for this day thank you for our gift of life thank you for everyone and thank you for this service in jesus name we pray and believe amen thank you